In 2025, AI reshaped cloud computing, disrupting hyperscalers with neo-cloud alternatives. So welcome back to the Cloud Computing Insider. My name's Dave. Let's get started. So the first and foremost thing I'm going to say about 2025 was it wasn't much about cloud at all. It was about AI. So AI infrastructure hyperscalers are pouring tens of billions, you know, into AI optimized data centers, custom chips, you know, projects like Microsoft OpenAI, Stargate, Supercluster, and all of this uh, innovation or maybe wastes of money we haven't seen yet. But uh, obviously that's where the, the hyperscalers are moving right now and everybody and anybody is investing in the AI space, almost to the fact that it uh, has taken a lot of the auction out of the room for the uh, other, you know, traditional cloud computing things out there, which we talked about many times before. So people are focused on data organization, governance models, and really looking to build a cloud infrastructure that support this amazing work that we're supposed to be doing with AI. And that was really kind of the theme of the entire year. Everything had an AI, AI trend to it, whether it was related to AI or not. I think everybody is just chasing the hype. And that's going to be going on well into 2026, if not well into 2027. But we'll see where things go. So the next big story of 2025 was the rise of the Neo Cloud, uh, which is where GPU providers are breaking the hyperscalers monopoly on AI compute. And so we're seeing... Uh, folks out there like CoreWeave and Lambda Labs that are offering GPUs as a service, in essence, to support the need or the demand for the AI infrastructure that's out there. So the hyperscalers are charging typically a lot of money for access to GPUs, but of course, you, that comes with a whole complete ecosystem, thousands of other services and functions that exist around the use of GPUs, where their cloud providers have seen a need and fulfilled a niche where they're launching just a cloud that just supports AI. And I think we're going to see the rise of that technology often in the future. But the focus on it in 2025, I think, was the big story.